hi everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching me just so you know i am diksha gewali and i make informative videos on international students life here in canada and if you're planning to come to canada as international students you must have knowledge on the kind of jobs that you can do here so in order to make your student life easier i'll share my knowledge on part-time jobs in canada and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do because it motivates me to come up with such informative contents and without further ado let's get into the video we all know that as international students we are allowed to work 20 hours per week and it's extremely challenging to contribute to your fees by working just 20 hours and that's why a lot of students also work on cas and before i answer if you still work on cas i want you to understand the difference between scene jobs and cas jobs Social insurance number, also known as SIN, is your private nine-digit number that government uses to track your works. It's issued by government and you need this number to work and get paid uh, legally. So as soon as you arrive here, you need to get your SIN number. It's a confidential information, so don't share it with anyone but your employer. And working on SIN is absolutely legal and you'll be paying tax on this amount as it's transferred by your employer's bank directly to your bank account. Cash job is all that work where you don't use your SIN number to get paid. There's clearly no track of where you work or how many hours you work. So if it's illegal, why do so many students work on cash and why do companies hire on cash? Let me clarify that uh, big chain companies, they don't hire on cash. Sano Sano local companies, they matri, uh, hire for the CASMA and there are certain reasons a right? student they don't uh, pay tax on CAS jobs and you get to keep all the money to yourself and the employers they hire you because they don't pay employers tax they get to pay you less and there's no workplace injury obligation if anything happens to you at work however what you need to understand is that you get exploited if you work on cash as you don't get paid what you're supposed to. And in Ontario, the minimum wage is 15.50 and it differs from province to province. So if you work on cash, you get paid around what, 11, 12 dollars per hour. So employee, employers, they save uh, so much money. Also know that cash jobs are physically challenging and it's not for everybody so basically it's like a uh, factory and warehouse jobs now let me tell you about the benefit of sin jobs mm, first benefit at the end of the year you file your tax return and since you're a student you get back all the tax amount so it basically acts as savings and in second ma, you get better jobs in SIN than in CAS, like sales ko jobs aru. And third ma, you get at least $15.50 per hour, which only goes higher as you get uh, experienced. You want to say that you get Now let's talk about the most important aspect, the moment of truth. Yes, students, they do work on cash since majority of students, they have to cover their tuition fees. But you also need to understand that it's illegal to work on cash and you can work legally on SIN during your semester break and then contribute to your fees because there are consequences to working on cash. Either you have to pay a hefty monetary penalty or you'll get deported in worst case so i suggest you not to work on cash so what i suggest instead is work full time on your semester break cut off your unnecessary expenses like getting new phones cars gadgets and all of that so keep that in mind and look at the larger picture all I could do is warn my audience or subscribers and provide genuine information. The rest is up to you and I cannot force you guys to do anything. And that is all I wanted to say on this topic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this 
video informative and if you did then please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon with another informative content so bye